Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter and today I'm going to be printing out a bunch of pictures and I want to show you that here um, and then we'll go and cut it. So before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that I can get. And then, all right, this is the, this is the idea. I saw on my Instagram, Joann's did a ornament, did an ornament, something like this. And what they did was um, the person that created it printed out the covers of all the books that she read this year. So inside was just basically it, just a bunch of um, photos of the covers of the books taped on or you know, stuck onto a foam sheet. So front and back of the same book. And so it looked like mini books in here. Um, I don't want to do books. <laughs> I usually read a ton of books, but ever since I've been doing this whole, you know, influencing crafting thing, I don't have time for like real books that I like. And so um, I am not going to be embarrassed, but there's no point in putting all the smut books that I read. <laughs> so I'm not going to be doing that. What I'm going to be doing is I did pick out pictures that highlighted my 2022 things that that I'm super proud of or had fun or it was a moment for me um, f as the useless crafter. So all right, I've already uploaded those pictures. I feel like Canva is the best way for me to do this because it's faster to upload the whole my whole album. So what I did was I went through my iPhone and I created a new album, the useless crafter highlights 2022. And so I dropped in like 30 some pictures um, and the drop was like this because I can select them and then upload into Canva. I would love to do it in design space, but in design space, what I would have to do at that point is I would have to upload each individual picture in, which sounds like such a drag to have 30 some pictures to do that. And then I'm thinking everything else. I mean, I guess, yeah. So I'm gonna do it straight out of Canva. What I might do in design space, I haven't quite figured out how I wanna do the foam sheets. Depending on, let's work through the pictures and then we'll figure out the foam. All right, there's a couple things depending on your ornament. So I have, my first ornament is this one, which I like. It's the one from the Dollar Tree. So it's, um, you know, it's, it's a, like a mason jar-ish. So with this opening, it's super wide as you can see. I don't need to worry about how wide my picture is going to be. Now, compare it to, well, the other one, my other option is this, which is from Amazon, which I love. So it's linked in my, uh, in the description. This you don't have to worry about either because you're going to pop it open, drop in the, the pictures, and then close it up and then tie a bow and call it a day. The one that you do need to worry about is when you have a small opening like this little ornament here. The only way to get into this ornament is through this hole. So um, if you have one of those, I would go for the biggest size possible because otherwise you're going to be printing out super, super small things, which isn't that bad because we're we're actually printing instead of like um, actually, you know, crafting with paper and stuff. Oh, that sounds ridiculous. Like cardstock. We're not we're not trying to recreate it in cardstock. We're just going to flatten it and print it if you were doing it in, um, in design space, but we're going to be doing it in Canva. So, all right, let's get started. First thing is I'm going to create a design and I'm just going to go to custom size. I'm going to do eight and a half by 11 because I'm going to print this on my favorite sticker paper, needle labels. Uh, and the reason is because these are my highlights, they're photos. The photos are going to come out the best on needle labels. So, um, and they are having a sale this month. It's 30% off. Um, you have to buy a certain amount for 30% off. Any time that you want to buy from needle labels with without restrictions, FANS25, F-A-N-S 25, will get you 25% off. And I would also get a kickback for referring you. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna promote that. All right, let's see. Let's go into upload. So now that I'm on my desktop, here are all my pictures. What I'm gonna do is I am just going to add all these pictures and I'm gonna do um, maybe just nine at a time. Okay, I'm gonna grab all. And let's see if I can position it. I can, I can center it. Okay, so I've centered it. 
and then I'm gonna all at one time make it like so they're not all the same size I wish there was an easier way to do it because the pictures came in differently like some are portrait some are landscape but Um, what I am going to do though is we are going to line these up so that we can, um, whatchamacallit, we can easily cut with a paper cutter because I don't want to hand cut these. So all our square ones, we can do this, right? All of our long ones we'll leave here. Um, this one is, I don't know why that one's trimmed so much. Okay. So we can do that. So actually, now that I think about it, okay, we're learning on the fly. I'm going to delete all that. Okay. I'm going to add all these pictures. We're going to do them all at one time. I was worried about sizing them, but now that we have our method, these are from Craft Girls Summer, which I love. And I have my XOXO Craft Girls coming up. So if you haven't checked that out, that's happening in February. And um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Um, online and Zoom. So please check it out. It's the uselesscrafter.com. We're going to be making a lot of fun things. All right. So I've got all my pictures here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it all and I'm going to position and we are going to center it and middle. Okay, so they're all together now. And then we're gonna grab it all and we're just going to resize it to about, about so. I don't know, one and a half and two inches. That still sounds too big, hold on. I'm gonna make it smaller. There, okay. So now we're going to we're going to line them up by shape. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit because it's so hard to see. Okay, here we go. So this should be easy because then we can easily, you know, just um, use our paper cutter and chop it along. And that one looks bigger, so I'm gonna move this somewhere else. Make this a little bit smaller so I can see again. Okay, here we go. Well, it's the same size as that. Okay. Okay, so I am just moving these over so that later when we go to cut, it will be quick. Hopefully. how fun these pictures are these are all my favorites that I you know all my favorite people that I got to meet um, creativation that was so fun and I hopefully I will be at creativation again this year in Ohio so we shall see about that all right that's a random square picture okay these are all squares what happened here But I, you know, this idea is so stinking cute. I feel like I would want to do this for my daughter and then have a picture, you know, a year of all her fun things. For me, I want to keep it on my tree. But also, oh my gosh, for the grandparents, I think they would love that. Uh, for teachers, you can do it with, um, you know, all the students in there. So I think that's a great teacher idea, like a part of their holiday part um, holiday gift. Um, all right, let me move these out of the way. I have way too many pictures here. All right. I have a lot of square ones. Okay. We're getting there. 
Oops, let me undo that. Okay. Are we almost done? Holy, we're not almost done yet. Okay. And this is really small, but I'm telling you, I think this exercise is worth it because we're going to be cutting later. And this is a square. What the heck happened here? Um, all right. Oh my gosh, I'm done. Okay, so let's get this here. Okay, we've got all our square pictures. We've got, no, this is a square one. Or it looks squarish. We'll see if it's actually square when we go to cut it. Um, this is random but I'll make it bigger make it line up to that okay and then these are random okay so they're sort of lined up this will make it easier for us to cut later um, I'm just gonna move these up just away from the edges okay I'm gonna save it we're going to print it. Um, when you go to print it, um, make sure, well, we can do that now. Let's go to share. I'm going to download this file, PNG, best for printing. I'm going to do PDF print. All right, I'm going to download it. Then I'm going to open it up. When I send it to my printer, I want to make sure that I have all the right um, settings on it. Okay. So we'll give it a second to print, but I mean to download. This is going to be so fun. I'm so excited to put it in there. I, I'm going to do both sides of the foam. Um, with the same picture. So I'm going to print it twice and Let me think about what I want to do about this. I think I know what I want to do. Okay, so we've downloaded this. Okay, so now we're going to open this up. We're going to print it. Um, I want more settings. I want, let's see. Here, let's do this so that we can really get to, I want to print to my brother, printer, and Go to go to preferences and I'm going to change this to glossy paper okay it's going to be a manual feed I want that's good photo image um, okay advanced I think I'm good okay I think I'm good. So I'm going to hit OK. I want two copies. Print. OK. So while we're printing that, let's now actually go into design space. I think I have an idea that's going to work. So, because I don't necessarily want to cut, hand cut the foam, and I don't really know the sizes of these, right? So I'm thinking. <laughs> let's see let's see we're gonna open up a new project upload that file okay so we're gonna upload browse so we're gonna go to our downloads um is it this yeah oh it's an unsupported one okay let's go back to canva hold up Okay, I'm going to share it, but I'm going to download it as a PNG download. Everything will be the same, right? We're going to go back into design space. Let's see. Let's wait for this to download because I had, I had saved it as a PDF file, but we're going to save it as a, as a PNG file so that it's one of the supported media types in design space. All right. So now that it's downloaded, let's go here, browse. And we're going to go to downloads. 
and here's our file. Okay, I'm going to click on complex and I'm going to get rid of the white space. Okay, apply and continue. I want mm, actually I'm going to do a cut image. Okay, so this is my ornaments 2022 TUC highlights. <laughs> Okay, now some of them didn't work. Okay. So it's, why is it too big? It shouldn't be too big. It should be, why didn't that work? That's weird. Let's think about this. If I made this, I can't make it an eight and a half by 11 because it included the outside. So what can I do? Cause I want this to cut. Basically we can cut this. This is too big. It's actually smaller than eight and a half by 11. But now I don't want to just do this and then have a random size. So what we can do is, hold on, I'm still thinking. Give me a moment. <laughs> it actually printed without me wanting it to, but this is what we're going to do. I have a printed copy, okay? So I'm gonna cut out my first one so that I can measure this first box. I guess I could have taken a ruler, but I didn't. I'm cutting it instead. I'm cutting it and then I'm gonna measure it. And then if we can get that first rectangle to match, then we're golden. Okay, so it's an inch across. So this line right here is an inch, okay? So I'm gonna take, bring in a square, and I'm gonna make it one inch. Oops, all right, so when this first square matches up in width to one inch, then I know we're good. So let's do this. just slightly I think we're good okay so now what size is this see it's 7.35 by 9.66 which makes sense because we had a border right we had this is what we had so this is eight and a half by 11 but we had a lot of empty space so what we're gonna do is, so there are some that have some issues, but for the most part, they're gonna cut this foam pretty well. So uh, what can we do here? I know, we will, we're gonna make some of these. <laughs> we're just gonna do it. Um, let's see, we're gonna unlock it. Some foam is better than no foam. So I'm gonna do this. Actually, I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna, ooh, why wouldn't it let me slice? This is a whole image. This is one. Oh, there. I'm gonna slice out, it for whatever reason, it had like all this other stuff. I don't want that. Okay. I'm gonna, we're just gonna not have one there because I messed up. <laughs> okay, um, here what we can do is we can unlock this 
can make this better and then weld it. Okay, I'm going to duplicate it. Oops, should have left that one there. Because I honestly think what we're doing right now will be faster than hand cutting all these foam pieces, right? Would you agree? <laughs> I hope you do. Because <laughs> um, that's what I'm doing. I feel like this is so much easier than, oops, that I'm okay with. This, we're gonna fix that. All right, and then I'm gonna do another copy. We're gonna go down here and maybe unlock it and hope for the best. All right, so now we're gonna grab everything and weld it. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Get rid of this. Save, ornament, oops. Okay. All right. So we're going to paper use our paper cutter for the pictures. Foam is going to be cut uh, by our machine. Actually, I don't like this edge. I'm going to let's do one more. Unlock it. one let's bring it down this one too oops unlock it all right now we're gonna select all combine weld yes <laughs> let's go to make it and let's see what this looks like Okay, we're going to continue. Okay, on my explore, I'm good. I'm going to go to browse all and I'm going to do foam sheet. Let's do foam. All right, um, I think it's craft foam. Let's see what it says. I need my deep blade. Normally when I do foam, so let's go back. The foam that I've chosen in the past uses the rotary blade. So let's try this one and see. Nope, that's still a deep blade. Hmm, it's all deep blade, okay. Um, well, we'll try it. Deep blade. So I will see you back in the assembly portion, but I'm so excited. Thanks for joining me on this um, learning session, <laughs> which is what I like to do, right? We're going to we're going to work this out and then I will post about it. Um, all right. Comments, questions, please post them below. I will see you in a little bit. Happy holidays.